Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me today. It's Nikki hirsch Keekley with My Healthy Beginning. Today, I'm going to share with you seven habits of healthy, energetic, and productive people. This isn't the Stephen Covey version. Trust me, this is in regards to your health, allowing you to be an energetic and productive human. So accountability is key. Having a coach, having a mentor, um, whether that's just a a good friend even who's willing to be an accountability partner they have to be willing to call you on your stuff when you aren't keeping your word um, i love having a coach and a mentor um, or kind of one from each category business life etc to um, hold me accountable to what i say i'm going to do it keeps me feeling super successful and and being right on track with what i say i'm going to do hydration so this is important this is an important piece obviously you can start with half your weight in ounces um, per day and refraining from beverages like soda and coffee that are more dehydrating in general. The other thing that I love is keeping your um, hydrate your electrolyte balance in check with cell salts. So you can be drinking all this water and I say you can feel like a floating bog because you'll say like, here's my gallon. You know, I've drank almost the entire thing today and I still just ugh, like I'm so thirsty, but I feel bogged down. So your electrolytes may be out of balance. I love cell salts for that. Um, they will keep those in check. And I find it to be far more economical and better for you than the quote unquote vitamin waters that people are consuming to, or other, you know, beverages like that to keep their electrolytes balanced. Number three, movement. We need movement. We need flow. Um, our bodies weren't made to be in that sedentary state. There are important pathways that we need to open to move the junk out of our bodies maintaining an exercise or gentle movement therapy routine will help to support that maybe start with 15 minutes a day on a rebounder like those are the small indoor trampolines that you can have um they last night i was on one for 35 or 40 minutes so my daughter was doing a project and she wanted me to watch a show and i didn't feel like watching a show um and i hadn't gotten my workout in yet for the day and i was like kill two birds with one stone get this done super easy move my lymph feel better such an easy thing to do. And for those of you who are working from home right now, it's also a really um, a nice little, if you have a little office space at home, tuck it into your corner. So if you are just on a call and you are muting yourself because you all you have to do is listen and look at your computer screen, get on your rebounder, just do a little bouncing. You'll feel so much better. Uh, the thing that I like people to know is that when your lymph is not moving, that's created stagnance and stagnance creates illness and disease. So when you kind of get the background of why you need to move your body, it is a really important piece. But some people just, if you're not walking or excuse me, if you're not moving at all, you're not doing any sort of exercise, starting with just a simple walk around the block. And then, you know, over time, making that a little bit longer and adding a little more um, frequency and intensity to those walks can be really helpful. Even just some stretching, just start getting your body into that nice little habit get good, supportive, non-skid boots and hit the trails. It's beautiful weather, you know, even though it's cold, it's beautiful weather, get out there, you'll enjoy it. If you're a yoga doer, right, you're familiar with sun salutations, that opening and closing, the constant folding, stretching, opening that you're doing with a, with a flow for sun salutations, Think of all the dilating and constricting that it does for your gut, your abdominal organs, your liver, gallbladder. It just feels so amazing. Um, that creates movement and flow. So movement, number three habit of healthy, energetic, and productive people. I've got my notes here. Um, number four, natural foods. Whole real natural foods are what our bodies need for proper conversion and use of energy. It's tough to be on top of your game when you are attempting to fill yourself with chemically laden foods. And that could be like a sports game. That could be your career path, your work game. That could be your parenting game. Um, it could be play. Like you want to be really good at the thing you're trying to do and like your memory, you're foggy and um, you don't have as much energy. So if you look at what it is you're eating and consuming, calling fuel for your body every day, switching that to more natural whole food based diet more nutrient dense, you'll feel better and sleep. So if we aren't getting sleep is number five, if we aren't getting restorative sleep, we just can't heal like period. So sleep deprivation, insomnia, um, I've lived it. It's awful. Wakefulness, restlessness, they are a real thing. And it's 
it's like it might as well be torture um, trying to, to live life. So establishing a healthy circadian rhythm by getting to bed and rising at the same time every day, shooting for seven to eight hours is really important. So much like we would set up a pattern or routine or rhythm around bedtime for our kids, we actually may need to reverse engineer that for ourselves. Our sleep is just as important. Um, we all know what it's like to be the one, uh, you know, awake for countless hours with the littles, let alone, you know, twiddling your thumbs all night long because we can't get to sleep ourselves. So removing yourself from screens for up to two hours prior um, to bed and eliminating caffeine is a place to start. Keeping in mind that caffeine has a, um, what's the phrase? Like, like a half-life. So some might find that they can drink coffee up until three o'clock and they do fine. Some find that they have to keep cutting that back by a few hours. When you look at like what the kind of, um, afterlife is not the right word. I can't think of the phrase, but how long that caffeine is in, in your body. And then there's that half-life. So sometimes that sort of kicks in that extra stimulation when you should be sleeping. So backing that up and looking at how much to um, eliminate, if need be, some of that caffeine from your coffee. If you're a stress ball, you might need a quick nibble of carbs to um, help to handle lowering your cortisol level just a little bit before you go to bed. and Think about how foggy you are the day after you sleep. Your, your brain can't drain without that proper sleep. So when you're dragging versus using stimulants to get you through, really start setting little structures in place to get you closer to a healthy sleep pattern. It probably won't happen overnight, right? It'll take a little while to do but you want to start doing little itty bitty things that will make that difference over time to get you to sleep. Sleep is just the bomb. I love good sleep. Number six, morning focus time. Oh, I love this. So for some it's yoga, meditation, prayer, workout. Um, maybe it's food prep time. That's when you like are in the kitchen doing your work. Everybody else is sleeping. Maybe you're journaling. This time is all about you. So um, if you're not a morning person, I get that that can be tricky, but getting out of bed even 15 minutes before you normally would get out of bed does open things up and does provide a little bit of space and a little more energy in your day. So more focus, energy, um, and clarity. Plugging this in for yourself, you just deserve it. So wherever that time um, needs to be, whether it's five in the morning or eight in the morning. I think it's important to just have it in the morning because it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Mine is from 5.30 to 7, excuse me, 5.30 to 7 in the morning is my time. Um, what I can get accomplished in that undisturbed focus time is beyond ridiculous. It's, it's, it's crazy. So I have to decide if that's work time. And sometimes Knowing I have that undisturbed focus time to get my work out of the way buys me freedom in other areas of my day. So you find out what you need to do with your morning time to have it be just focus time for you. My favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite habit, training your brain. Um, what we use here in the office is something called brain tap and I use this at home and a session on that little headset. It looks like, you know, Ferris Bueller's day off. Um, it's like an eight hour sleep for your brain. So you can completely re-pattern and heal brain waves using this little guy. It's amazing. Um, I found this article too that I loved by Warren Holman. So he's talking about um, how to train your brain. And, and, and so I quote him because it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, he notes that, you know, there are eight components of a healthy mind. So awareness, both of ourselves and the world around us, attention, the ability to gain and maintain focus, Presence, the ability to listen and observe. Reflection, the ability to recognize connections and implications and thus to gain perspective. I always share with our clients working on their programs when they can have a little extra insight and perspective about what their body is going through, what their child's going through on their program. It opens a whole new door for understanding. And then, and then there's like some space for grace to pop in there because we don't have much, we don't give ourselves any grace. And so that insight and perspective is really key. Uh, creativity. So the ability to see old things in new ways. Awesome. Ability to think outside the box and to make art. Memory, the ability to recall the past so that hopefully we can build upon our successes and learn from our mistakes. 
flexibility, not being stuck in one way of viewing things or doing things and having the ability to relax, engaging your brain in mindfulness training, artistic expression and social connections, your brain will unleash amazing power and potential. Train your brain, it's totally doable. So if you're feeling sluggish and non-productive and want a little of this energy for yourself, feel free to grab a free discovery call with me to discuss where your health may be held up, what we can do to make those changes for you. Um, you can log on to myhealthybeginning.com slash find an appointment and I'd love to see you on my calendar. Thanks for joining.